Joy, what's our memory verse for today? It comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 and it says, I have nothing to do with the wildest things that people do, things that belong to the darkness, instead bring them to the light. Joy, kindly pray with us as we begin our story. Let's pray. I can Father, everything for this wonderful day. As now as I want to begin the children's sermon, we have you to help us to learn something from this story. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. Amen. So children, last Sabbath, we learned about Paul and Apollos at Corinth. Today, we learned that Paul actually fulfilled the promise he had made to the people at Ephesus of visiting them. Now, children, there are some interesting facts about Ephesus. Joel, what do you know about Ephesus? Ephesus was a big city with big temples and big buildings where, where the goddess Diana was worshipped, and it was also the most corrupt place in the world. Yes, so in Ephesus, there were many criminals, many thieves, and like Joel has told us, corrupt people. And so when Paul got to Ephesus, he found some men. Amy, what do you know about those men? The 12 men that Paul, that Paul found in Ephesus, they never used to believe in the Holy Spirit. But when they were baptized, Paul laid hands on them, and the Holy Spirit filled them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. So the men prophesied after being baptized, and Paul laying his hands on them. Now, children, do you know the Great Commission? Joel, tell us something about the Great Commission. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told his disciples, go to every nation, baptizing people in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Joel, what do you know about baptism? When we baptize people, we baptize them in the name of the Lord, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, therefore go and make disciples of all the nations now. The Bible says, therefore go and make disciples of all the nations now. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations now. The Bible says, therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations now. So after Paul baptized the 12 men, he went to the synagogue. Amy, kindly tell us something that happened. The handkerchiefs from his body and to take to those people who are ill and who had the evil spirit and the evil spirit and the illness would, would be driven away. That's quite unusual because Paul was not supposed to be where the sick or the evil possessed people were. And so as Paul was doing this, there were men who thought that they also could perform the same miracles. Children, remember what happened in Egypt when Pharaoh and his people thought that they could perform the same miracles that God was performing through Moses. Mm -hmm. Well, so at Ephesus, there were people who thought that they could also do the same. Amy, tell us something about these people. Who are they? The seven sons of Sceva tribe, they went to a demon-possessed man and tried to cast the demon out of him. But the, dem the evil spirit spoke and told him, I know Jesus and I know Paul, but who are you? And so he jumped on them beat them, left them wounded and naked. Now children, Sceva was a high priest of the Jews. And children imagine seven men running out of a room naked. What a scene. And so the news of this incident that happened got to be known by many people at Ephesus, both the Jews and the Greeks. And the fear of the Lord fell upon these people. And they heard and they believed what Paul was preaching. And the story continues that at Ephesus children, there are many people who are superstitious. Do you know what superstition is, children? Superstition is uh, 
like when you cross your fingers, you believe that good luck is going to happen. And when you're walking, then a black cat, cat passes, you, be, you believe that something bad is going to happen. Mm-hmm. So at Ephesus, these people were very many. And they got to know about what Paul was preaching. And we are told that there was a great fire. Joy, tell us something about the great fire at Ephesus. The great fire was brought by the people who are practicing magic. So they burnt their books, and then the total became 50,000 silver coins. Or several million dollars. In shillings, that is 7 billion Kenyan shillings. That's quite a lot of money, right, children? But you see, God had had these people, and he forgave them of their sins. Now, children, what, what lessons have we learned from this story? I learned that we should not joke with God's name. And we should not copy people what they're doing, because you don't know what it might do to you. I've also learned that God is a God of second chances, like how he... Because of how he forgave the people of Ephesus. Yes, yes, children. I have also learned that God is able to use us to preach his word and to be witnesses for him, just like Paul was at Ephesus. And also, Christ wants us to make disciples for him. Amy, kindly pray for us as we end our story. Let's pray. Our kind and loving Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this Sabbath. And thank you for the story that we've just shared. And thank you for what you have learned. And now as you want to move on to the next session, please bless us and guide us through this day and help us to remember what we've learned. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, children, for joining us today for our sermon. We're looking forward to seeing you and meeting you again next Sabbath as we continue with our theme, The Call to Go. But for now... Bye. Bye.